Okay, um, before we tackle generating functions, let's just review some basic counting problems. And we have four of them here. And in the next video, we'll have another two or three um, sampling of more counting problems. And then after these two videos, we'll get into the uh, generating functions. Here's the questions you want to discuss uh, for this video. How many five-digit numbers are there? How many of the five-digit numbers are even? How many of the five-digit numbers have exactly one seven? And how many of the five-digit numbers are palindromes? So let's take the first question. How many of the five-digit numbers can we, how many, we should see how many different five-digit numbers are there. Now, we can use, of course, numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We can use any of these digits here for the first number. So that leaves us nine choices for the first number. And then for the remaining none ones, we can also use zero. So that means then we have ten choices for all the remaining digits. And by the counting principle, then, the, see here, the total number of ways of completing the first digit, if you will, is nine. The total number of ways of completing the second digit is 10, and so forth. So by the counting principle, then, the total number of ways of completing all five digits is 9 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. So this would be 9 times 10 to the fourth. So there are, to go back to our first question, how many different five-digit numbers are there? And the answer is 90,000. Now, out of those 90,000, how many of those five-digit numbers will be even? But now what we want to do is think about the last digit, because if it's going to be even, then the last digit has to be an even number. So. For this digit, it could be 2. That's an even number. 4, 6, 8, and 0 will also work. So we see that for the last number here, there are five choices. And then for these numbers here, it's business as usual. There's 10 different choices. And for the first digit number, we can't use the zero for that. So there are nine different choices. So again, by the counting principle, the total number of ways that we can complete this assignment, that is where the first digit can have nine different choices, the second and third digit, 10 different choices each, and the last digit has five different choices, then to complete the whole five digit series, there would be 9 times 5 is 45 times 10 cubed, or there would be 45,000 even numbers out of what? The 90,000 numbers, 90,000 different numbers. So, OK, it shouldn't be a surprise. 45,000 of them are even, and another 45,000 will be odd numbers. Now we want to ask to tackle this question. How many of the five-digit numbers have exactly one seven? So here then, again, we have five numbers. And let's say that 
the 7 occurs right here in the first digit. So that means then if the 7 occurs here, there's only one possible choice for it then. We're using 7. Now, for the remaining digits here, we can use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, and 0. So for these, there are 9 different choices, not 10 as we had before. So here there's 9. So the total number of digits, 5 digit numbers, that begin with the number 7 is 9 times 9 times 9 times 9 times 1. So that's 9 to the 4th if 7 occurs in within the first digit. Now, let's say that 7 occurs afterwards. Suppose it occurs here in the second digit of the number. How many different ways can we do that? So here, this is when it's in the first digit. We can say 7 in first digit. Now, we're going to say suppose 7 occurs in the second digit. How many choices do we have for the first digit? Well, we can't use 0, so now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 choices for the first digit. We only have one choice for this digit because we're going to put 7 in there. And then for remaining digits, we have nine choices. So if seven occurs in the second digit, then there are nine times nine times nine times eight. So there's eight times nine cubed ways that that can happen. And then, of course, if seven occurs in this digit or this digit, for this digit, the total number of ways it can be done is the same. Here then, if 7 occurs in this digit, there are still only 8 numbers that we can use for the first digit. And then for here, there are 9. So that can be done 8 times 9 cubed ways. Same thing here, same thing here. And of course, if 7 is going to be in the first digit, that could be done 9 to the fourth way. So we can write this as 9 times 9 cubed. So these then are all the total number of ways that the digit 7 can occur once in the five digit number. So this would be 32 plus 9, 41 times 9 cubed. I think that's. 729, uh, put it on the calculator here, we have 41 times 729, 29,889. So those are the total number of different digits, the five digits that we can have, where the seven, the numeral seven occurs only once throughout the sequence. So that it answers this question. And now we have the last one. How many of the five-digit numbers are palindromes? So let's think about this. First, we'll make some room. Now, a palindrome number for example, this would be a palindrome. Say we have 4, 3, and then we have the middle number. Say it's a 6. Now, 
the last two numbers occur in reverse order are the first two numbers. So this would be a palindrome. Now we want to know out of the five digit numbers that we can make, there's 90,000 different numbers that we, five digit numbers that we can create. How many of the 90,000 numbers are going to have this palindromic pattern to them? Well, first we look, the first digit can have nine choices. The second digit can have ten choices. The third digit can have ten choices. But now, this digit here, this is already predetermined because this now, these two numbers had to be in reverse order of these two numbers. So, this number is predetermined. Likewise, this number is predetermined. There's only one choice for the last two numbers. So what's the total number of ways that we can do this? It's 9 times 10 times 10 times 1 times 1, or that would be 900 different palindromes that we can make. So with the five digit numbers that we create, there's 90,000 different ones and 900 of them will be have a palindrome pattern like this. Okay, uh, that's all we want to say for this video. Come back, join us for the next video, and we'll try and tackle some more, a little bit more complicated counting problems. And then when we have that video finished up, we'll get into uh, generating functions.